Original suspension bridge built back in 1890 with five others in town. Two near the replica for here. Main purpose was build majority of these near the mine over the river. Sometimes of floods there was no excuse not to get to work. the treetops coming up on our right. These were pretty steeply designed on the top of the hill, 60 ore buckets connected to three quarter of a mile of cable, a full load of ore round down, gravity fed the empty load came straight back up. We'll definitely come straight back to, we'll drive past the workshops and then pull up here shortly to have a closer view. tons of gold they couldn't retrieve with the waste which is now in the pit. 160 meters, about 31 million tons of cyanide rich treatment tailings is in the pit. So there's only 40 meters of water but that's a lot because this is highly contaminated at about a 2.8 pH. So if you're into that, one is battery acid, seven, 7.5 is neutral drinking water. This is closer to battery acid than anything you'd want to test out by having a swim or a drink in. 10,500 megalitres of not clean water, but it does get clean. That treatment plant is very small compared to the amount of water in here, but it's doing its job to keep the level down so it's not at a risk of overflow. But it is a catch-22. As soon as it rains, water comes in. They've got to release it. You get a little bit of seepage. They pump that seepage back, but evaporation keeps the water level down too. So it's always coming up and down. Main thing is they don't want an overflow and that why, that's why the treatment plant's there doing its job. Removing all of this clay, it 